errors, mistakes, goofs, missing parts, wrong card, mixed parts. See how many you can find out of the ten. Here we go. So how many out of the ten did you find the error? The forklift has mixed wheels. I don't. I think this one's the wrong one. I'm pretty sure at this time, uh, five spokes are what they're supposed to use. Forklift, pretty cool. Haven't seen it in a while. I'm glad the uh, GM lean machine was final run because uh, I did not care for this model at all. I know it has its fans. But yeah, the uh, canopy, the part that's supposed to be on top of the uh, seat there, it's supposed to have this uh, smoked canopy, popped off. And not, uh, not too unusual to find it. Same with like uh, Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet, uh, the canopy pops off a lot. Mustang Cobra, mixed wheels, got five spoke in the back and a PR5 in the front. Uh, had two Mustangs in a row, didn't mean to do that, I like to mix them up, but uh, this one uh, missing the windshield. Supposed to have a windshield right there. Not in the package. Nope. Gone. And here we have uh this is not a first edition, 1998, and it's not even a uh, double vision. Uh, so here you have the uh I think this is the Oshkosh. I should have looked, sorry for a stalling. Oshkosh snowplow. And they used to release this uh with this in the package because you know. They can't have it in the package attached. The thing would be bigger than the card. So it's not an error that it's detached. They used to throw it in the package like there. So you could put it on later on. But the error is that uh, this is not the double vision. Here is a double vision. The He-Man double vision. And that's what should have been in here. The first edition. I think it was a reddish in color. Here we have the roll cage. And you guys are familiar with the roll cage nowadays. They changed it a little bit, but when it first came out, it used to have a spare tire sitting on that little post, and this is missing the uh, spare tire. Here we have the T-Bird Stalker. Mixed wheels. Five spoke on the back. Five hole in the front. Here we have a nice old uh, series car. Back in 95, 96, I forget which one it was. But uh, nothing wrong with the car. 
splatter paint series so you might have thought that it was no tampos but actually the splatter, splatter paint series this should have had the side splitter I have uh, some of the uh, this is the car that should have been in there see side splitter splatter paint it should have had this model and it kind of had a uh, paint splattered onto the vehicles so this guy is just miscarded not that uh, unusual to get miscards now uh, here's is the side splitter there were uh, four cars I don't have a rescue ranger but I do have the Chevy and the Camaro so I'll go ahead and uh, let you have a look at those right now there's the Chevy and there's the Camaro show you the name of the 55 Chevy some of you guys say hey show a uh, video of your complete collection you know what fellas and ladies I have uh, over 7,000 cars. There's no way I could get them all in one video. It takes me uh, three minutes to do a video on 10 cars. How long do you think it's going to take to do a video on 7,000 cars? Uh, not only that, it makes it special when I do videos like this and then I can bring them out. It makes more sense, right? It's germane to the story I'm telling. If you want to see pictures of uh, Hot Wheels, just go to eBay and search Hot Wheels or go to South Texas Diecast or any of the other websites and you can see all the pictures you want. Here, we tell stories. Missing wheel. That was so obvious. Come on. And we had the uh, Copper Stopper in the uh, Boulevard series. So now they changed it to Copper Stopper. It says on the base right there, Copper Stopper. But like I mentioned before, this is a vintage. They use the uh, vintage tooling right there on the base between the wheels. It's got a little logo. That's vintage. And then it says a uh, paddy wagon right there between the wheels in the front on the base. Paddy wagon. But uh, they hadn't used the name paddy wagon in a while, so now they got to use call a copper stopper. Anyways, this was a limited edition for, the, for um, this organization right here. But yeah, it's upside down. So not only was it cool because it was a limited edition, but uh, it also wound up being a. Uh, Package upside down. I'll let you pause it and read it. Anyways, stay tuned for more error videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.